Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. If you are here for the first time, I want to say welcome. I'm making this video um, just to take you through the process of making meat, oh, meat or beef stew the Ugandan way. So I have all my ingredients ready and chopped and over here I have my onions and green paper chopped into not very tiny but reasonable pieces there's no formula on how you can cut them some prefer just dicing them but I just chop them any way I want it and I have my tomatoes right here and this is gonna be my beef then I have other ingredients. I have black paper. I have garlic powder. If you don't have garlic powder, you can use garlic cloves and turmeric. I love turmeric, but it's not a must that you should put it in. If you don't have it, still, your stew will taste the same or will taste a little bit the same. And then when I'm about to be done, I will sprinkle this parsley flakes onto my finished product. All right. And then over here, I have my pan ready. And I'm just gonna put it on high so it can dry up. I normally don't like to put oil so as soon as my pan dries up, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put my beef right in because I don't I don't like using oil that much. I don't like using oil that much. My beef um, is already chopped up, as you can see. Uh, I know some someone can be out there and say um, they didn't see me chop it, but yeah, it's already everything was already chopped up before I started the video. So my beef is already chopped up. I normally don't put oil in the pan, like I say, because um, I just don't like using that much oil. Try to keep it as healthy as I can, and I'll just get my lead cover my beef and let it cook I'll get back to you this can cook for around 5 to to 15 minutes as you can see my beef is slowly turning color I didn't put any water in this it's just produces its own water so all I just do is just to keep turning it up, turning it up, turn it up, turn it up. I can do this with the phone. My just turning it up. See that? As you can see now, the beef has already cooked. Whichever water that we had that had dissolved in the previous time that we were leaving it on the fire has all dried out. So I just um, keep turning it because I want it to turn a little bit brown before I can add my um, ingredients. I guess it will. And you see why I told you that I don't like adding oil because most times the beef itself has some fat in it. So adding oil makes it more, more fatty or more greasy 
if that makes sense or a proper lack of words. So I just keep it without oil. And whatever oil comes from it is what I'm going to use um, as it cooks. As you can see, I've turned my heat uh, to medium because I want it to slowly, slowly, slowly cook. Without further ado, I will add my onions right about now. I will add my onions. I love uh, keeping my food covered because it keeps all the beautiful smell inside. It makes the beef absorb everything without just losing all our, our good smell from the onions and the green paper into the air. So I'll just keep it covered for a couple minutes as the onion gets to cook. I open the lid every now and then and turn it up until the onions get um, a little bit brownish. So that's the color we were looking for. Our onions have disappeared in our, um, in our meat. The smell right here is to die for. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my tomatoes. When I add my tomatoes, I just keep turning. Can't do that because I'm holding my phone. So the same procedure, just keep turning till the tomatoes are all cooked up. As you can see, um, the tomatoes have fully cooked and softened up. Everything is softened up. Our meat is also kind of tender at this moment. So I'll go right ahead and add our ingredients. I'll start with um, this is a garlic powder. Like I told you, I have no garlic, so I'm using garlic powder that I got from Walmart. there this is my turmeric or turmeric or whichever pronunciation you choose to use so I will add that too and I will add my salt some of you are going to tell me that's too much salt I know Eat a lot of salt. Yeah, and all we're gonna do right now is just to turn everything up. Try to mix all the ingredients in here. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Trying to make sure everything is mixed in. Meat is kind of tender at the moment. We're still gonna put it on fire. It's a medium heat. And what I normally do, some people, since right about now, the meat is ready or the beef is ready, but I want to add some some water. 
to mix too because I'm going to serve this with the rice and I don't want to have my husband choke on the dry rice so I'll have to add some soup some water to make soup or stew whatever you call it I I mean, I, I see this at the side. I don't know, people might say, oh, that's a dirty pan or whatever. But those are stains that came from the beef as it boiled previously. Like the pan was properly cleaned out. But as it boiled out, it um, releases its own water. And then that water, when it dries up, it leaves, I think, the stains that you see there. Alright, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water and cover this up. I'll let it sit on this heat for about 30 more minutes before I can serve it. And that's it. That's how you mix two the Ugandan way. Beef stew the Ugandan way. See you in my next video.